Hello, and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today, I'm going to work on the Ghostbusters Ecto-1, but I'm not working on any specific stage. What I'm doing is I'm um, actually finishing my lights because the current Code 3 lights that I have, that I built according to the instructions, they look good, but... They look good, but they sound terrible. <laughs> so instead, I'm going, I've worked out, and in one of the people I know, Todd um, Marvel, Marvel PHX or Marvel Phoenix, is working on seeing if he can do the upgrade or fix the lights to where they will work, but they'll be quiet. He's already started working with um, resistors, and it did make them a lot quieter but the problem is i'm doing this quick and simple i'm not going to put resistors in front of the motors i tried putting resistors on the line here and what happened was either the motors didn't work or if the motors did work they were relatively quiet and the lights didn't come on so here is my solution instead so i'm just switching the lead over let me and then i'll turn on the uh They spin a lot faster, and they are relatively bright. I like it. It's going to be not a hard mod. I'm also going to be, I'm, I'm, I'm planning on taking the switch out. I may add it back in, not sure. But uh, all the work will be done on the live stream today, which is the 7th of April. If you want to go and see the look at the HTM live stream and see what I did, I'll also do a video after the after I'm done with this. You know, I'll do a video and mer uh, put them together so that you can see what I did. But um, it, to me, this is a lot better than this. I know they're not canon. I know they're spinning way too fast. I am not good enough. These are actually uh, RC, and this is what one looks like originally. This, these are RC lights, or um, I don't know what you want to call them, the bubble lights for cop cars or whatever. They have three wires. I don't know for the life of me how to set them to different modes. They have four different modes, which if I was doing it on an RC car, there's apparently a wire that you hook up that's a discrete. That, so when you push the button on the, the uh, radio, it would flip the modes. That's too complicated for me. I'm a simpler guy. So I'm just going to set them up to run like this. I'm going to put them inside of here. I'm doing it on the second set of them. I've actually taken these code threes off of my off my uh, car. When I get done with the soldering, and I'm, I'm going to hot glue these down. Before I finish putting them together, I will put do the second video. That'll be... Um, that'll be right after this one basically and then i'll put it the rest of the way together and i'll do a third video comparison between the two of them just so you can see what the difference is and make your own decision so with that i'm going to pause the camera here and we'll be back after today's uh, live stream again the uh, 7th of april on uh, htm and we'll see what the difference is after i've done this so stay tuned Okay, so I'm still on the stream and done a little bit of work here. What I've done is I've hot glued each of the circuit boards down into their respective caps. I've hot glued the caps down, super glued the wires across here, clipped off the uh, wire from the original board. Nothing, not going to keep any of that. And right now these are just jerry rigged here just to make sure that it's going to work. So what I do, I set my power supply for about four volts and I was going to try and use the switch, but it's not going to work out. So without the switch in there, anytime I apply power to the Ecto, it will do this. 
So I think that's working out really well. Come on, focus. There you go. It works really well. And when I set this over top, wait a minute. So, oh, I bumped the power. I got to actually solder that. But this is what it's going to look like once it's in there. It's like I said, it's not soldered right now. So it's is really flaky. But this is getting it's getting closer to being done. And I will come back and like I said, I'm actually recording during this stream. I've got them muted, so they may not they may be wondering what the hell I'm doing. Uh, pardon my French. But uh yeah, we're getting there. So I will be back after I finish building it and I will do a comparison between what I'm doing and the stock. So, like I said, I'll be back. Okay, I am back and I have finished one, finished the uh, update on one. I, I could say upgrade, but it depends on your how you want to um, look at it, whether it's an upgrade or an update. So what I've what I've done, and this is completely finished. You know, I've I glued it down. I glued the uh, I popped the lens off of these, the top uh, the bubble top off of these. Glue the to recap to glue the board down to the top of this. Glue this onto the post. Looks pretty good. I'm not sure if that's exactly how I'm going to do the second one, but I also don't know if I want to have them mismatched. They look, uh, to me, it looks really good and it is much better than the original sound wise. So let me go ahead and fire up the original. And that is, it resonates on the top of the car a lot louder. It is terrible. So this is how I've modified the the uh, ones I've got, the one that I've done. And it looks really good if you look at it in the angle. And that's what I'm, th I'm thinking. I'm probably going to do the other one exactly like this because very rarely are you going to look dead on like that. Because to me, it looks like the lights might be a little bit too high. Actually looking at it on the camera, that's not bad. I know it's not supposed to, you're not supposed to be able to see it from the top, but I like it. I know they're too fast. A lot of things that are different from this than what should be. But between the two, I prefer this one over this one because this one is dead silent and it's running off of all the, uh, it's running off of the plug that actually comes from the car. So to, what I did do is, and I did all this on the, on our Sunday stream on the H HTM Sunday stream. I cut the harness off. I was going to try and use the switch. I cut the chip, the board off board is now, just has the uh, LEDs, got the plugs for the motors, not going to use those motors for anything. All of this is excess. I've got a ton of excess parts left over. Still got to put the brackets on it so I can put it on the car. But other than that, it's done. Just looking. Don't tell me that I needed to put those screws in from the top. I'm just looking here. I saw the brackets on this one. No, the screws are on the bottom. I haven't done the brackets, but like I was saying, cut this, cut this board off. That was my first, the first thing I did. Put the, I actually put this piece in to hold the switch down and the switch. And when after I got done with it, it was screwed down. The switch didn't work very well. Very often it didn't work at all. I had this have the same problem with this one. It's hard to get to that switch, you know, when it's on the car, S especially with this metal piece here, which I pulled this off 
or I pulled, pulled it off of here, it sticks up just a hair blocking the switch. I like the idea of just, you apply power to the car, you got lights. As soon as you turn on the car, you have lights going, you know, because if you're going to have power on the car, usually you're going to have something going on with the lights. I can later on work something out to put a switch in the box, I'm sure. But I like the way it worked out. It's it's done. It may not be perfect. Some people may not like it, but it's my, my model and I build it my way. I like the way it came out. And uh, yeah, it's good. And until I cut, until I cut the uh, wires here, I had planned on being able to go back and doing it the other way, which is why I didn't cut, cut the towers off in the first place. No, no harm, no foul. It's done. It works. I like the fact that the lights get out of sync with each other. It looks a lot like what I did on the uh, Ecto one that I built. 11 years ago, I think it is. I'll, I'll have to put that on one of the videos just so you can see. It's also, it's the light bar that I built for it is the first video I ever uploaded on YouTube. It's like a 15 second video. So I hope you're enjoying this. I'm back to, I, I can now, once I do this light, I can do, get back to work on the um, Ghostbuster car. Got a lot of content coming. Lots of things waiting. I've been lazy about posting here lately, but I'll be back in stride very soon. So like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified of any time I post new content. Come on over to Hobby Time Modelers on Facebook, YouTube, and Discord. This was done on our Sunday stream. We also do, the, do a stream on Friday, and they're doing a perfect grade Falcon build on Wednesdays. Um, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. Enjoy the eclipse tomorrow since it is the 7th of April. And I know this is well after you'll be watching this well after the eclipse, but, uh, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next video.